The Mormon Church finished? It can't be, or can it? Coming up next on Deceptions of the Ages News. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Deceptions of the Ages News. The big story today is the Mormon Church. Are they really finished? Well, before we talk about that, let's talk about something that is almost as important, and that is you subscribing to this channel. Now, we put out videos about once a week, maybe twice a week, and I am a Senate candidate in Washington State. I'm a political figure and we are leading the resistance. We saw Alex Jones taken down. We've seen a number of YouTube sites taken down, but we are leading the resistance. I'm actually a political candidate in Washington state, and I am fighting the fight for you guys. So all you have to do to keep updated on the news that's important to all of us is just hit that subscribe button and that little tinker bell kind of thing. All right, so, <clears throat> the Mormon Church. Finished? What? Can it be so? Well, not exactly. We have to back up a little bit because we have to remember that uh, the last prophet for the Mormon Church died last summer. So he was replaced by a new prophet, a new leader of the uh, Mormon Church, and his name is Russell M. Nelson. Now, uh, the prophet, uh, the president of the church, Russell M. Nelson, has made a number of changes within the church uh, that have to do with like home teaching. Uh, once uh, every five weeks, uh, the entire um, congregation or the adult congregation will meet uh, for a separate class. And uh, there are uh, little, uh, uh, I won't say insignificant, but little changes uh, in the church. And of course there are, um, we have to remember that because of the fake media and all these people who have to get clicks uh, for their stuff, um, there's all these allegations about sexual abuse and whatever that follows around any, uh, basically anybody uh, these days, hopefully not me, but uh, anyway, um, these are the, some of the concerns of the, the new prophet, the, the president of the uh, Mormon church. Now, before we go into the details of why he has come out with this, I just want to add and remind people that in the book, which is based on this, this channel is based on my book, Deceptions of the Ages, Mormons, Freemasons, and Extraterrestrials, I wrote that book for the specific reason that I was sick and tired of people calling uh, Mormons or Latter-day Saints Mormons. Now, the reason uh, that people or people in the church are called uh, Mormons and not Latter-day Saints is because back in the early church, uh, people who hated the church, and it still happens now, wanted people to not think that the uh, Latter-day Saint Church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, was actually a Christian church. So uh, the term Mormon is based upon uh, the scriptures, the Book of Mormon, which are a record of the people that lived in the Americas. And over time, as I, you can see in Deceptions of the Ages, many of the uh, things and uh, places and uh, ideas that were in uh, the Book of Mormon um, have actually been proven to be true, like geographic locations, uh, syntax and grammar, uh, pyramids uh, in South America and Egypt, uh, denoting a connection between the two cultures. Uh, I go into much more detail about the connection between Freemasons, Native Americans, and the Latter-day Saints, but you'll have to read the book to find that out. But the whole premise behind the, behind the book, Deceptions of the Ages, Mormons, Freemasons and extraterrestrials was that there is a brainwashing, a mind control going on in our media so that you will not investigate certain things like UFOs, Mormons, or uh, even the Freemasons, which are part of the book as well. So Russell M. Nelson, the new prophet, has come out and said that we are no longer going to be called the Mormon Church. And I was a little bit 
uh, disappointed that the prophet didn't say what I said, that the term Mormon uh, is a negative uh, concept. It's a negative uh, name that just basically denies the fact that the people of the Latter-day Saint Church are Christians. And there are no better Christians and no uh, more devout Christians, I think, in the world than the people of the Latter-day Saint Church. So I want you to understand this and I want you to understand it in the context of the channel that this is just another way that you have been brainwashed and mind controlled into not investigating one of the greatest institutions on earth. And if you will look into the book Deceptions of the Ages, Mormons, Freemasons, and Extraterrestrials, you'll see that's really the story of two kingdoms. So you need to find out what those kingdoms are. And as we say in the beginning and end, uh, actually Bob Dylan said it, uh, you have to choose a master. So uh, there's two kingdoms on the earth now, and I think you know which one is which. And so you better be careful about which one that you're participating in. All right, so that's the big news for today. It is the end of the Mormon church, but not in a sad note. It's very uh, happy because finally, it sounds like, uh, although the prophet says that the Lord himself told him uh, to stop calling the church the Mormon church, uh, there's a good possibility uh, the Lord might have spoken through my book, Deceptions of the Ages, Mormons, Freemasons, and Extraterrestrials. So things are moving positively. We'll see you next time on Deceptions of the Ages News. Hello everybody and thanks for sticking around. Now I know that you stuck around because you enjoyed the video and it really uh, hit something within you and you would like to see more uh, material like this. Well if that's the case then I would like to ask you to consider uh, subscribing to me on my Patreon account. Now I will leave a link in the description below and you don't have to s s uh, pledge that much. Uh, maybe just a dollar, two or three dollars a month, um, but I not only make videos, but I'm also an author. I have five great books that are available at hindsight.com. So if you would like to consider supporting me in that respect, then not only would you be um, supporting me, but you'd also be getting some awesome books. And what I would like to do eventually is be one of the greatest authors in the United States, but I'm competing with major publishers and it's very difficult and you have to have money to do that in order to be able to produce more material. So I have many books in the works, but I just don't have the funding. And if I don't have funding, then I have to go back and find some other way uh, to bring in money. Um, so please consider a donation to my Patreon account or just go ahead and buy a couple of my great books. You'll love them and I'm sure you'll come back to buy the rest of the collection. I'm Matthew Hines.